All right, welcome back guys. Uh, we're gonna do a video on a little project that I did. It's a foldable, collapsible stand for our Pandora's box yeah. arcade stick. Uh, I built it, you painted, well, painted it and or decorated it. Yes, um, we did a flat, no, not a flat black on it, but like a semi-gloss black on it. We knew we wanted to do something more on it. We just, we kept, because I said more on. <laughs> you didn't even notice that you said it. <laughs> we, want, we, we knew we wanted to do something on it. You had mentioned painting it. I had an internal emotional breakdown about having to paint it because I was like, that is a lot. Plus, how do you stencil something on black? So that was going to be an issue. Yeah. So because the Pandora box itself is a Street Fighter and Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat, we decided to go with a theme on that on the arcade stand itself. Yep. And I did paint on the stripes and it, some it, parts. It, there was work involved, but it wasn't, you didn't have to put the paint in. No. So you got things printed up. I did. I did. I, I found some Im images online yep. and uh, got those printed off at Staples. I was going to print them at home, but it would have meant because that big Mortal Kombat sign symbol, symbol in the front. front would have had to have been printed on six different sheets of paper, which would have meant we would have had seams. And yeah. I would have had to try to get rid of those seams. And I yeah, didn't want to do that. Nightmare. It was a little bit more because I had to get it poster size printed. Yep. But all in all, for the stand and everything we had to put on it, all the materials we had to apply or uh, buy, it was in and around $100. We figured. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So it was very affordable considering we don't have the space necessarily. For a full arcade. I machine. mean, people say that we do and we don't, but for our aesthetic purposes, we don't, we don't have the space. We want we it to look a certain way. Better. Yeah. But some people would just stick it anywhere and they, yeah. or they'd see, but we just, we like it aesthetically yeah. so to look a certain way. We have the Pandora's box actually on a shelf, so the TV, yeah. play, it displays nicely. It does. And then I will uh, make a bracket or something so I can hang the collapsible stand up on the heavy. wall. Yeah, it's heavy enough. It's heavy enough. It's heavy enough. Um, as long as it's anchored yeah. properly. So, yeah, we designed it so that it would collapse, fold up, you can put it away and we'll use it as like art piece on the wall. Yeah, once it's exactly. Done. Um, and get into the measurements and stuff for you guys. Yeah. It's 35 inches tall and I have uh, I have it at 19 and a quarter inches on each side for the width or the depth of the machine. Exactly. And then the, uh, the top flips over, that will obviously be the top part of the arcade stand where the Pandora's box sits. It's 30, 38 and a half inches wide yes. across the front. And I used three quarter inch plywood. I don't think you need that heavy of plywood. That's what I had because I had another project yes. that I worked on. So for a stand got, for our CRT TV. Yes. Yep. So I just bought two pieces instead of the one. And uh, I don't regret it. I mean, it's heavy -ish no, not to at pick all. up and carry around. But you can put two people on that stand just hammering away on games and it doesn't move as solid as a rock. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, uh, there's only six hinges, well, that's, uh, I say there's only six inches. There's six inches on it so that the top will flip over and the two sides fold in. Yeah. Um, they're just regular door hinges. I went and got black ones. Nothing special. Yeah. Not the cheapest ones I could get. And to have it lock in place on the top. Yeah, when it, when we open it up and, um, the top flips over, mm -hmm. I put tiny little pieces of dowel. Yes. On the sides and then drill a hole in the lid or the top of the, the, the cabinet so that it would lock in place. Exactly. And the reason it's 35 inches tall is you had kind of did some online, online research. figured out how high your, your buttons should be from the floor and then I subtracted what the Pandora's box sitting on top would be. Yeah, and, and we I had some friends inches. over a couple <clears throat> weekends ago and they, we, they were our test people because we were like okay if anybody's gonna say anything about if it's too high or if it's too low it's gonna be them they've played some arcades well, everybody's everybody said it was i'm like great. five foot eight and then yeah mike's gotta be like six foot six or something oh like, he's tall yeah he's a big guy well it seemed to work for everybody i didn't nobody 
at least complained about the heights of it. Well, yeah, and we had it out for the party, and there was at least one person at that arcade stand at any given time. On the s well, when it folds all up on the front there, you're gonna have I can't even remember how many characters from Street Fighter there was. Well, there's twelve. There's twelve characters. Yeah, we from have Street twelve that's characters. A, that's not all of them, but that's what fit well. We yeah. Player one, player two on there. You have Mortal Kombat symbol on the front, along with Game On. Yeah, our common uh, tagline yep. at the end of every video. Then on the top, where the Pandora's box sits, you have uh, Retro Rivals. Retro Rivals, yeah. And that, come on, Boots, give us a break, would you? <laughs> um, and then that's all glued on with what hodgepodge? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, no? Uh, Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Yeah. So I looked into a few different ways to glue this on that wouldn't ruin the finish on the print because my main concern was that it would bleed the ink from the print, which is just not true. You can use almost any glue. Mod Podge was, uh, you know, it was touted to be the best that it would work good. Isn't and that it, like a painter style glue? It's art. Like you can do decoupage with it and glue. St <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can glue stuff down. So yeah, you get that at a craft store, at Walmart. It's not super cheap, but it's not crazy expensive either. And it's the only thing you might bleed is if you do something newsprint. That's a little bit tougher. Different but, quality. Oh yeah, this went on like a dream. You can rub newsprint off. That, that's exactly it. But yeah, that was my biggest concern. So for anybody that wants to seal a print, you can actually use this to seal. And I did use it for my first top coat. I used it to glue. I used it for my first top coat. And then after I knew that was well sealed, I moved over to a polyurethane coat and I sealed it with that and then sand it in between layers just to make sure I didn't have any, uh, I wanted proper adhesion of, yeah. of each layer so that it, it stayed on well and, and it looked good. When I shared this with a few friends of ours, uh, they were excited to see the finished product. The common question was, is it just sitting on top? The arcade stick itself, Pandora's box, isn't just sitting on the top no. because it has four little rubber legs. Not, I don't even have to call it leg. It's little nubs that sit on. Yeah. And so I just countersunk four holes into the top and it sits into that. Like it, it won't slide. No, there's it no won't sliding or moving. Up. Like you can get two people wailing away playing on Street Fighter or whatever you want to play there. And there, that's it so, it's so much more support to that than yeah. having a hole cut in the middle. Yep. It just makes the entire stand stronger. And then it also gives us the option that in the future we want to upgrade and get one of the newer yeah. boxes that at most we will have to drill new little holes for those legs and then we could easily plug up the other one with a cut out of that and wood or, glue if we want it or keep it there or keep that or it may even be the same template it might be those kind of companies just kind of reuse well why like, not inside of that box, it's just a little board about this big yeah it's just and a huge a amount of room teeny tiny fan yeah you got your buttons and sticks and on just a few wires there's, there's not much to it so no they could continue to add on and make it bigger oh, with yeah. just that case. Oh yeah. I don't know what they'll do. No. We're thinking possibly of getting another one. We'll see what is available maybe this holiday. Yeah, season. exactly. And uh, we're really happy with it. It's been working great. We we use it periodically. We've got yeah, a lot like of it's, consoles. It's not set up like every day. But, no. But when uh, when, when we, we have a like a. A little party at our house and all everybody comes over. That's one of the things I might bring out. I'll yeah. set it up, and that's what happened last time. We set it up, and people just kind of I think that drawn towards it. There, running the entire like pretty much almost the entire length yeah. of the party, and yeah. it was it was a big hit. Uh, just want to thank anybody that watched our last Pandora's box video. Uh, if we think it's worth the buy in 2020. We are by no means the experts. Uh, we did some research, and but I encourage you to do tons of research before you buy to make sure you're getting the model that you want. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be. You don't want to spend that much money and be. I think some of the newer models have Wi-Fi on them. Yes, yeah. yeah, some of the newer models do. Yeah, we got ours in March, and then not not long after that, they announced the newest model, and I was like, I think yep. There's a possibility of there being like a 
online network or something for it. That would be cool. You can buy new games, but it might be getting mixed up with something else. I know you can load games onto this, and we've looked into it, but it just, I don't want to brick it. Eh, I just don't know how don't to know. do it. Oh, uh, no. It I, would take I, some more research. I would, yeah, I haven't even began no, research exactly. it there. I think I would like to do some because I still don't have a uh, splatter house at all anywhere to play it. I, oh, I want to play that game. Yeah. That would be cool. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. And uh, we will hopefully get some more Pandora's Box videos to you guys in the future. But until next time, game on. Game on. <laughs> <laughs>